I purchased my DSO just a couple days ago and uh, I assembled it before yesterday and yesterday I got uh, an, into an, an idea that my 9 volt battery maybe will not last much so I decided to build this uh, battery pack it's <coughs> lithium ion uh, 18650s <coughs> with a voltage regulator uh, regular 7808 plus I added a resistor on the uh, to to bring the ground uh, uh, lower so we have uh, now uh, exactly 9 volts on the business end And there is not much spikes. I checked that with this DSO, uh, at least nothing that it could really detect. So um, I plug it in without the second battery. And what happened, it went into this really strange error mode, read apron failed. And um, possibly this is not a very stable source for it. So, uh, you know, I reconnected the battery and the story is exactly the same ever since. Um, the only way it can be booted is by pressing some of those push buttons together. And uh, then we get into some very weird mode. We have sending data. Now this screen shows up constantly and you cannot get rid of it. Um, some functions seems to work, but they really do nothing. At least until the waveform doesn't show up. TS amp 3.3 volts. I guess it's amplification amplifier or something like that. I have no idea. Really, I'm completely new to this and it's pissing me off because it's, uh, you know, first uh, days of, of using any kind of oscilloscope and I already broke one, you know. Ah. And um, the other thing is, um, ah, yeah, if you boot it again like that, You can also get into this input activation code uh, prompt. Uh, this is for programming, I, pr uh, I think. Uh, well, I'm sure it's for pro uh, programming the, 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 the firmware, but uh, I, d I am not so advanced yet so to, to, to do that. Pro possibly this is exactly the way I will have to go, but uh, you know, until then maybe there is some other advice I could use, you know. Um, now, if you push those buttons in some other combinations, we get into other strange um, functions. No. I thought previously it was something else. Okay. Never mind. You see how it works. You know, I don't know if camera catches it, but this is flickering constantly and uh, there is no way to oh, hold it. This one works.
or at least it seems it does something but it's definitely not something that you know is usable um, please you know let me know what is needed to be done to 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 bring it back you know i really want that puppy to function again uh, maybe one more thing um, well it's disassembled and we do the same thing without touching anything on the PCB <laughs> it will boot up and it will display something and uh, yeah this is uh, uh, the, the other uh, menu that I was talking about set CPL and the blinking ground and now you cannot really use and change anything whatsoever so that's that's another mode of failure for this one Now there is no blinking ground. Sending data. I have no idea what does it mean. Maybe it, it tries to communicate through one, one of those ports. Now if we push trigger, this is gone. Sometimes I was able to jump with this uh, square into other fields, but not really much than this. Um, yeah, I, I think that's it. You know, I, I cannot exploit any more of the failure modes of this one uh, since I, I don't really know what to search for. Yeah. And uh, without the um, connected PCB, it goes exactly into the same mode. So please let me know what to do.